the National Air Rifle New, Shoot New Shooter League, and the National Air Pistol League. Let's get started. All right, um, as a few more people are joining in, a few quick uh, company announcements. Uh, if you didn't see the email that we sent out a couple weeks ago, uh, Shooters Technology is now Scopus. Uh, that is our new name, and we decided to recently rebrand. And really, it was just basically to better represent our, our company's mission and values. Uh, don't worry, the ownership remains the same, and all of our employees remain the same as well. Uh, and with the uh, new name, Scopus, we have a new website uh, and a brand new web store that we launched uh, a few weeks ago. It is at scopus.tech. Please take a moment. <laughs> Please take, take a look when you have a chance. All right, a few logistics for today's meeting. Uh, I will try to keep it to about 30, mi <clears throat> 30 minutes. Uh, the topics are specific to the New Shooter and Air Pistol League. Uh, because the leagues are going on simultaneously, we have the coaches meeting simultaneously. And most of the slides pertain to both leagues. Um, when there is a slide that is specific to one of the leagues and not both, I will let you know. The information in today's coaches meeting is for you, so I encourage you to ask questions and make comments. Uh, to ask a question, please use the YouTube uh, chat box, uh, type in your question, and either myself or one of our moderators will get back to you. And of course, today's webinar will be recorded and available for offline viewing. All right, uh, some uh, statistics for this uh, the season's league. This is our uh, sixth season for both the uh, New Shooter and Air Pistol League. Uh, overall numbers are a little bit down from last year, but that's okay. We do expect some volatility. We have uh, 59 teams in the New Shooter League and seven teams in the Air Pistol League. Thank you, as always, for uh, you know uh, registering and being part of this exciting season. And also, since I have everybody's attention at the uh, start of this presentation, uh, please take a moment to check your team's registration, and I will pause to uh, you know, give, give you that opportunity to check your team. Um, we have links here, both in the slide deck itself and in the YouTube chat box, for you to check your team's registration. Most important thing to check. One, is your team there? Second, did we spell your team name correctly? Once the uh, uh, season starts, once, once the uh, schedule is announced on Friday, we cannot change your team name. Please also check that we have uh, your name listed correctly as the coach. And every team gets two bye weeks during the season. Uh, so if you have selected a bye week, make sure that they are selected correctly. And again, I will pause for about uh, 20 to 30 seconds to give you up <clears throat> give you an opportunity to check your team's registration. All right, um, and so once again, uh, please make sure that your team is listed. If your team isn't listed, that means your registration is not done yet. Uh, and of course, make sure that we have your team name listed and spelled correctly. All right, uh, eligibility to compete in the New Shooter League. Uh, we are running under the National 3 Position Air Rifle Rules, which means each of your athletes have to be high school age athletes or younger. The New Shooter League is only for sporter class athletes. We do not have a position class in the New Shooter League. And of course, as the name implies, you do have to be a new shooter. Uh, for the purpose of this league, we define a new shooter as any athlete who had their first air rifle competition on or after the 1st of August 2022, which we specifically designated chose because it corresponds to the academic school year. On the Air Pistol League, your eligibility is actually kind of you know, a lot more open. Um, all athletes, open and junior, compete together in the Air Pistol League. Uh, we are running under the uh, CMP Air Rifle Rules. Um, 
caveat to that is, well, not a caveat to the rules, but caveat to the eligibility. Uh, we do have a junior all-star team for the Air Pistol League. And to be eligible for the junior all-star team, you do have to be a junior athlete or what is now known as a U21, under 21 aged athlete. All right, the season. Uh, the season is basically broken up into two parts. The preseason, which is going on now, we strongly recommend if you haven't had an opportunity to compete in the preseason that your team do, do so. And that's going on through Sunday. So you still have an opportunity to compete in the preseason. And then the regular season is a 10 week season where your team will compete in eight games during those 10 weeks. And that starts on Monday and goes through the first Sunday in April. For most of those 10 weeks, your team will have exactly one game to, per, to compete in. And two of those weeks, your team will not have any games. Those are called bye, bye weeks. And again, when you registered to compete, you had an opportunity to select your bye weeks. If you did, thank you very much. Um, and you have two of them. There's still a opportunity to let us know what bye weeks that you want. Uh, email the league administrator, or you actually still go back to the original uh, registration, uh, but that is available through Friday. All right, games. Uh, so as I mentioned, a uh, 10-week season where your team will compete in eight games. Um, there is one game each week. For the purpose of the league, a game is the week is defined as Monday through Sunday. Uh, scores are due the following Monday uh, at noon. On the new shooter side, uh, your course of fire is a 3x10, scored in decimal, and governed by the national standard three-position air rifle rules. On the Air Pistol League, your course of fire is a 60-shot course of fire and is governed by the uh, new CMP air rifle rules. Uh, if you're not familiar with the CMP air rifle, not, not the CMP air rifle rules, the CMP air gun rules, <laughs> forgive me. If you're not familiar with the, the CMP air gun rules, um, they're basically the ISSF slash USA shooting rules, uh, uh, just written uh, with a um, adopted for American style of competitions. All right, um, all games during the season are going to be virtual, and what that means is your team will be competing from your home range. And the team that you're going to be competing against will be competing from their home range. Uh, thanks to the um, uh, magic of the internet and virtual technology, the scores will get uploaded to our website and it will, it will appear as if you're shooting shoulder to sh shoulder. And all scoring during the um, all, all scoring during the league is done electronically, either using Orion and paper targets or using uh, electronic scoring targets. All right, coaches, one of your responsibilities during the season is each week schedule time for your team to shoot. Now, you have a wide range of opportunities here. Um, you do have the entire week to shoot your scores. And again, the week is defined as Monday through Sunday. If you have uh, large teams, so some of you have teams of 10, 20 athletes, that's great. You don't all have to shoot at the same time. You can split your team up into multiple relays. And of course, once more, um, we encourage your teams to practice. So practice as much as you want. Uh, one thing to note, very important to note though, is in this you know, slide I'm, I'm trying to present here, uh, the top bracket is perfectly legal, where you have two athletes shooting on Tuesday, and your other two athletes shooting on Thursday, and of course, they're practicing otherwise. That is perfectly legal. What's not legal is to attempt to shoot your league scores multiple times. If you do that, that does lead to a disqualification. All right, dynamic scheduling. Um, dynamic scheduling is how we you know, pair your teams together to compete against each other. And the goal of dynamic scheduling is to provide both a diversity of teams to compete against. You don't want to be shooting against the same team week after week, while simultaneously um, pairing teams of near equal skill level to, to compete against each other. All right, so this is how that works. Um, in the first two weeks of the league, the scheduling is completely random. 
And we'll, we will announce the first two weeks of the schedule on Friday. Starting with the third week, the scheduling is based on results from the first week. Then the fourth week is the scheduling is based on results from weeks one and two. And so on. That, can, that pattern continues for, for, for the remainder of the uh, season. And when we schedule teams to compete against each other, we do so based on league points. And we'll tell you what league points are on the, on the uh, next slide. A couple of things to note. Um, if your team has two or more DNSs that uh, did not start, we will stop scheduling you. It's not fair to the other teams competing in the league if you're not actually participating. All right, <clears throat> rankings. Um, the rankings and, and the dynamic scheduling is based on league points. Um, league points are, in effect, your seasonal average that you uh, earn, plus bonus points for each win that, you're, that your team earns. Uh, 10 bonus points on the new shooter side, 15 um, bonus points on the air pistol side. We add those two together, the, the, uh, uh, the score quote bonus points with the seasonal average, and those are your league points that we use for ranking and for scheduling. You'll also notice that there are negative points if your team has a DNS that did not start, or even greater number of negative points if your team has a DSQ, a disqualification. So it is important to compete every week to avoid getting those negative points. And of course, we have tie-breaking rules if necessary. All right, how to participate. A couple different um, resources we have available for you to learn how to participate. Um, we have a YouTube video that you can download now. Uh, that's available on our you know, YouTube channel. Um, and then we also have uh, available for downloading a printed manual with the instructions and range commands. Uh, that's probably, those two sources are, are your best bet. Uh, we will send out links to the uh, instructions and range, range com commands uh, this week if, it, if they haven't been sent out already. And if you're using uh, Athena, uh, the range commands are actually built into Orion and Athena, uh, so you can just read it off of, of uh, read, it, read it off of the um, uh, range control tab within Orion. Another resource to go to turn to to learn how to participate is to participate in the preseason game. This is one of the reasons why we strongly recommend teams to participate in preseason. Gives you an opportunity to learn how to uh, compete without your scores actually counting in, in the league itself. Some notes. Um, each game will be released uh, Monday around noon. Uh, your teams have until Sunday to shoot each each game. And your scores have to be turned in by Monday, that the following Monday at noon. Very, very important. Each week after your team has participated and you have uh, scored your targets, make sure that the scores got uploaded correctly to our, to our website. That's how we know that you, know, you competed in and how you did. To do so, inside of Orion, there is a globe icon. Click the globe icon and that will open up the uh, what we call the game page um, uh, on our website. That game page will list your team and will list the team that you're competing against and your scores. Do this every week, please, it's, it's important. Make sure your uh, athletes are listed there with their correct scores. We will also be sending out automated emails each Friday with the scores that we have at that time. Uh, this email again is, is automated and will just list the scores that we have for your team. If your team has already shot and you believe your uh, uh, scores are uploaded, you'll get this email and you'll see your scores. If it looks correct, great, nothing more you have to do. If, however, you get this email and the scores don't look correct, you know, something is wrong, something needs to be fixed. Um, take a moment, try, try, to, try to get that resolved. If you can't, give our, give our offices a call and we'll work with you to make sure that your scores do get submitted correctly. Again, this email goes out on Friday, so and you have until Sunday to shoot. So if you get this email and you haven't shot yet, um, and because you, you're planning on shooting on Saturday or Sunday, then you can just simply ignore this email. All right. Uh, 
All scores, though, uh, regardless as to when you uh, uh, shoot during the week, are due Monday at noon. Now, you have to sh shoot by Sunday, but the scores are due on Monday. That added time is to allow you, if you have any technical questions using Orion, you have a added opportunity to call our offices so we can assist. All right, special circumstances. Um, during the course of the season, these things come up all the time. Um, and we just want, we as administrators, we always want to make sure you have all the opportunity you, we want to make sure that we as administrators, let me try that one more time. As administrators, we want to make sure that your teams, each of your, each of you have a opportunity to compete. So we're going to work with you to give you that opportunity. However, in what we really need from you is that communication back to us if something odd happens during the season. Um, weather is usually the biggest uh, culprit. Um, we get it. Inclement weather happens. Let us know. We're going to work with you to uh, allow your team to compete. We'll probably extend the deadline for you to turn in scores. But in, or in order for us to do that, we you have to contact us so we can work with you. Um, <clears throat> in the circumstances where you might have two games in a week, and that would only be caused by a scheduling change, you do have to shoot uh, uh, separately. You can't shoot once for it to count on two different games. And also please note that under an extreme condition, uh, we do have the authority to cancel a game. Uh, we don't like doing this. It's our last uh, last option that we uh, deploy, but we do have the authority to cancel a game in a extreme condition. All right, awards. Let's talk about awards. This is the uh, fun part of the meeting. <clears throat> Participation awards for both the new shooter and air pistol leagues. Uh, we'll have, uh, for the New Shooter League, a poster for each of your teams. And for the Air Pistol teams, uh, we'll uh, give away banners. Uh, again, per participation awards. Every uh, athlete will receive a participation pin, and every athlete will receive a league sticker that they can place on their uh, gun case or rifle or pistol. All right, competition awards. Uh, the New Shooter League, this is one of, one of my favorite things that, that we do every year. Um, the way that we structure the competition awards on the New Shooter League is it is possible every team, regardless of skill level, uh, can earn the competition awards. New athletes, we want to give them as, as much encouragement as possible, so we try to give away as many awards as possible to those New Shooters, but you still have to earn it. All right, so how do we do that in the, in the New Shooter League? Uh, well, the first, <clears throat> excuse me, the first criteria is if your team has five wins or more dur during the season. The second criteria is you have to participate in all eight games. Doesn't matter how how well your team does, you just have to participate. And then the third criteria is your team has to show improvement during the season, and we'll show you in a moment how we calculate that improvement. But so we have those three criteria, and your team just has to get two of those three criteria in order to have uh, uh, season seasonal competition awards. And you know, every we've never actually given awards to all, all teams, but we've come close to a few times. And like I said, for a new 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 shooters, we're trying to give away as many awards as possible that are still earned. On the Air Pistol League, uh, we will have uh, medals, of competition-wise, we'll have me medals and banners uh, for the top three teams in the Air Pistol League. All right, on the, secondly, on the Air Pistol side itself, uh, we have a Junior All-Star team. Um, the Junior All-Star team is for junior athletes, the U21 athletes. Uh, and it's based on the seasonal average uh, throughout the court, court, course of the season for each of the individual at, in, individual athletes. Uh, for these four athletes, we will create uh, plaques uh, to recognize your accomplishments. And coaches, because we don't have a way of knowing this otherwise, uh, please send in a list of athletes on your team who are in that uh, junior or U21 category. All right, new shooters. Um, as I mentioned, we have those three criteria. You have to earn two of those three criteria to earn awards at the end of the season. One of them is the is you have to show that your team improved. 
Uh, the way that we do that, we use uh, Excel, and there's a function in Excel called Linist. And stripping away some of the you know mathematical details for a moment, really what this Linus function does, it, it's going to return a number, and it's a points per game improvement. And you do have to, uh, your team does have to show that you're improving five points per week during the season, and that will meet that uh, criteria for showing improvement. And I'll tell you, um, for the teams that have done this, it's you do have to work at it. Uh, you do have to come in um, on, on your off days and practice, but it is achievable. And one of the reasons we, we are having this award is basically to help encourage your teams to improve, to, to, to practice and to get better. All right, during the course of the season, after each game, we will be sending out uh, press releases. And one of our goals as you know, in, in the league is actually to um, promote not just the league itself, but the sport and your teams. And one of the ways that we do that is through these press releases. Again, when you registered, you had the opportunity to specify a media source. And if you did specify that media source, we will be sending the, these press releases to those, me to those me media outlets. With that, we also ask that teams um, send in uh, photos of your athletes. Coaches, you're welcome to be uh, a part of, this, uh, of these team photos as well. Uh, we use these photos <clears throat> both, both with the uh, press releases and within our Facebook post, and we also put them up on our team pages. All right, we're getting close to the end of the uh, slide deck here. Uh, team coaches, here's a list of your responsibilities. <clears throat> of course, be familiar with the league program and the rules. By attending this, excuse me, by attending this coaches meeting, you're already taking a big step towards that. Uh, you are you are responsible for conducting each game according to the rules. Again, the national standard three position air rifle rules for the new shooter league, or the CMP air gun rules uh, for the air pistol league. Your responsibility, you're responsible for working with your team to schedule each game during the time frame of the week. Again, that's Monday through Sunday. Of course, you are uh, responsible for the correct use of Orion and your ESD system. And as outstanding circumstances come up during the season, they always do, you're responsible to letting us know so we can work with you to allow your team to compete. Again, our default option is always to allow your team to, to compete, but in order to do that, to, in order to, to modify the schedule, you have to let us know. And finally, the honesty and integrity of your team. This should be self-explanatory as to why this is so important. All right, uh, coaches, <coughs> excuse me. Um, at the start of the season, we will be sending out a spreadsheet with each of your contact information. The reason we send this spreadsheet out is to allow you, the coaches, to communicate with each other. Basically, it's a way to demonstrate sportsmanship, to wish each other a look, to congratulate each other um, uh, if the other team wins. It will have your, uh, of course, your name, uh, the uh, uh, school, the club that you're, you're with, and your email address and phone number. Coaches, if you do not wish for us to share this information, we will absolutely respect that. But please let us know. Uh, please let us know by, by, by the end of the week so we can remove your name from, from the spreadsheet. And I ask each of you to please respect the privacy of the coaches uh, that are on this list. Uh, use this information solely for the purpose of promoting uh, sportsmanship between the teams in the league. Um, we're all, we're all in this together, so just, you know, be nice and use this information for this purpose and for this purpose only. All right, a couple hints to succeed. Um, because teams are ranked uh, not just by wins and losses, but by your seasonal average, uh, those, um, um, those league points... Um, it's important to compete every week. Um, even if your team has a loss, that's actually better than not shooting. Um, so compete every week. Don't take a DNS. With that, coaches, please take a moment after you have submitted your scores to make sure that they got submitted correctly. 
And again, scores are due Monday at noon. Don't get discouraged if your team drops a game or two at the start of the season. Um, a excellent example of this, uh, in the Sporter League this past fall, Pascaluga, in JRTC, uh, lost, the, lost their second uh, game of the season. They then went on to actually win the uh, Sporter... Uh, they went on to win the uh, Sporter League that season as well. So... A loss at the beginning of the season, not that detrimental. Use it to motivate your team to practice. And of course, yeah, and I've said it before, part of the reason we put this league on is to give your athletes a motivation to practice. Uh, so please use this as an opportunity to you know help that help with that uh, dynamic within the sport. All right, uh, that is everything that I wanted to go through. Coaches, thank you very much for attending. Good luck during the season. A few reminders. Um, if you do have questions, uh, we still have an opportunity to type in your questions in the uh, YouTube chat box. The schedule for the first two weeks of the season will be announced on Friday. And of course, the first game of the season starts on Monday. So again, uh, thank you very much for attending. If you don't have any questions, feel free to uh, drop off. We will have this uh, a recording available for download probably this afternoon or tomorrow.